let's see welcome to nltc gameplays with your girl mikey so today what game i have ready for us is called on sunkey gate one prison virus okay so i saw this on itch.io um what really made me really click on it was the art style and then you know of course after i saw the art style i read through of what the game is supposed to be about but this was yesterday so <laughs> Um, if I remember correctly, um, you wake up somewhere with other people in an unknown place. Um, people try to, uh, I want to say kill you or, or kind of mess with you in some sort of way by messing with, uh, chips that has been implanted in us. Um, uh, we don't know how we got there. Our memories are basically foggy, gone, um, and you see the name of the creator of the game uh, is right here on the screen so let me go ahead and click on the window so we can go ahead and play uh, yeah I did my intro already yeah so go ahead go ahead and play this looks cool if the world erodes into nothingness but you get to live how would you feel like hmm. isn't it loneliness scarier than death Okay. Uh, let's start. Do you choose to play the game in easy mode or hard mode? Uh, mm. Let's do easy. And then, you know, once we finish the game, we can go back and do hard to see what it's all about. You know, if you guys are into it. So it's so easy. Disclaimer of view and opinion suppress expressed in the comments or beliefs in the fictional characters. Da -da -da. The following contains coarse language, gory depictions, mention of drug use, alcohol. Okay. Do you have a complaint about something? Okay, okay, okay. そう、この宇宙の奥に存在する今を人間が必要な何かの部分を失い、そうやって生活する状況になってしまった。何十年も前、過去の闇に落ちたその昔、政府は人類全体を支えるため。そして、さらに発達させるであろうという考えを考案した。それは人にプリズムというものを組み込まれた。この有機体のチップを外密の奥に組み込まれ、人のノート連携し、情報交換をできるようになったのであった。産声を上げた赤ん坊たちはおろか、もうすでに日々月日年月あるいは数十年も生きていたものには市民として認めさせるためチップを埋め込まされたこのプリズムの機械は簡単な情報交換。すなわち電話、ブルートゥースやイメールだけではなく、ID カード、諸種証明書という身分証明書を持つ上、銀行業もできるウェブブラウザも備えている。他に嘘発見機、非政府サービス、脳卒中予防、外部音波なんかもできる
単純に言えばボハキングアンテナと呼ばれているそれによってプリズマというものは危険のない完璧な仕掛けと考えられているしかし実際にはそれは本当のことだろう I guess we finna find that shit out, huh? I guess we finna find that out. <laughs> What was that? Why is everything so dark? As I was slowly regaining consciousness, my mind felt foggy and my sight bleary. Ah, <sighs> ma. Why do I feel so nauseous? As I was slowly regaining cautiousness, I seemed unable to grasp what was going on around me. It felt as if I had. It felt as if time had decided to rupture and go at pace that completely impaired my perception of its natural flow. I was resting nearby a black hole, losing a grip on reality while slowly drifting away into the unknown. Can click on stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Where am I? Huh? What is this place? As I was analyzing my surroundings confusingly, I quickly realized that I had woken up in a room that seemed completely unfamiliar to me. The walls were mostly consisting of cold, hard steel that was mimicking the aspect of an indestructible chamber. It was furniture, but the confusion made me un unable to analyze details with a clear mind. At that time, I was still convinced that I was simply straying further into a bad dream. For that, I shook my head for a couple of times, closed my eyes, and opened them again in hope to waken up, into,、um, waken up from a fuzzy illusion. However, it wasn't working. I wasn't feeling more awake. <clears throat> my prism clicks glitching and making ear piercing noises. I wonder why. From what I've heard, a prism making unusual sounds is never a good thing. But before all else, Why can't I remember anything? My mind feels so empty. So, Rega. This is plain disturbing. I better keep an eye out and try to gather more information from this room. Hello, my name is Mr. Tutorial. And guess what my purpose is in this game? Wow, I'm here to tutor you throughout this game. And here we are about to start your very first tutorial. And there are loads of them. Alright, Mr. Tutorial. Would you like to read these crucial tutorials? <laughs> Yeah, might as well. Usually, I don't really like tutorials. Right? I just try to figure the shit out on my own. But then we'll be here forever if I try to do that. So, of course, why is it for you to do so? Okay. Event branches are shown on the top corner of the screen. They are divided into two sections. Okay. The left branch indicates the day one, the time of the day two, and the event that you are actually proceeding with. Number three. The current event name event occurs when you can freely move around in order to proceed with the story. The other events will be explained at the right time. The other branch indicates the name of the character, one, the character, I mean the current chapter of the story, two, being either the prelude, event, or the epilogue. The game system will mainly use point and click format. Use the mouse cursor to point at things and click on them to inspect them. Cool beans. Sometimes you'll need to interact with more,、uh, with a specific character or object to collect information or clues. By pressing the Q key, the hint HUD will appear and show what to interact with. Thank you for reading. Please enjoy. Thanks. Alright, here we are. Uh, there's. Uh, yeah. There's a pretty white looking computer resting on the desk. Even if I press the power button, it seems frozen on the home page. It doesn't seem like I can operate it. Okay, we'll go to the laptop. There's a laptop on the bed, but it seems like it acquires a password. I don't have any idea what it could be, though. What's that? Envelope? Envelope? It seems like it was left on the bed right behind my back. How odd I didn't notice it earlier. Read it, please, it says. Hmm. This little smiley face on the front has a rather weird looking smile. It looks distorted. Creepy. Well, never mind. Let's see what's inside of it instead. 
Greetings, dear blockheads. We invite you to present yourself at the antechamber. A great surprise expect you over there. Here we join the map to show you the path. See you soon. Huh? Blockheads? How rude. So, in the end, there is someone behind all of that. However, there is zero clue about their identity and their intentions. But could it mean that the reason why I cannot remember where I am is because someone had adopted me and locked me here? But why don't I have any recollection of getting kidnapped then? So many questions. I feel like my brain is about to explode out of its shell. This is so nerve-wracking. I don't feel ready enough to face this so-called surprise. But I cannot stay here forever though. I have to go and discover the reasons why all of this happened. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh, what is this robot? It doesn't look very cute. However, upon a closer look, it almost seems like a toy. I don't understand its purpose here. Uh, uh, oh. Hey, but that's Tori Bot, the penguin bot. Mm, the penguin robot that I've made myself. Oh, so what the fuck is it doing here? It's very precious to me. It was just the very first functional robot I ever built. Sadly, it's not fun functioning. Um, it's not functioning very well anymore. I wonder what's Totori doing here though. This cog maybe? No? Hmm. Uh, what? Uh, oh, whiteboard, whiteboard. <clears throat> There's all kinds of abstruse equations on this whiteboard, and a few that I can recognize are, in fact, wrong. Are these the deeds of a clueless genius or a clever novice? Uh, okay. It's daytime. How do I go back to the other side? Oh, never mind. I see the arrow. Never mind. I thought that was an arrow. Chess. Mm. I think I played enough of this game with my sister when we were younger. It's like if we were breathing and eating chesky at the same time. Uh, huh? What is that displayed on the screen? A red hue emanating from this weird red cubic figure somehow gives me unsettling shivers. And it doesn't seem like there's a button on- uh, there's a button to switch it off. But... That's it, though? I think I pointed on everything that needed to be clicked on. Uh, books? Books? There's a couple of books stacked here. Newly built, extra advanced robot tree. Robot fanboy guide, dissecting craft work. Totally the type of book I spend the evening with. Okay, but where would I get said password? Huh? Hmm? What's that? Why is there a camera in this room? How was I supposed to know there was a camera up there? I can't see it because this is in the way. This right here is in the way. How was I supposed to know there was a camera here? Anyway, let's continue. Is someone currently spying on me? But what? For then, have I been kidnapped by a creep? Is that it? Is that it? God damn! Finally, the fucking sliding door. <sighs> Yo. Okay, sliding door. Click on it. Let's go. By peeking through it, I can see that there's a bathroom behind all these sliding doors. A personal bathroom. It sounds like a pretty convenient asset. Asset, my bad. It doesn't seem like there's anything left for me to inspect in this room. Finally. I should get going and get out this room, even if my guts feels wrenched. Yes! Okay, let's go. Oh, that took so long for no reason. Oh no. Why is this place so big? There are so many other- Oh sh- Oh my gosh. Huh? What was that just now? Why does my head hurt so much all of a sudden? Oh. Did we bumped into you, it seems. Who are you? Hey, who is she? Am I not alone? Or is she the one behind all of this? 
After being roughly bumped in two and feeling dazed from the shock, I look down and see a young girl sitting on the ground. She looked pretty outstanding, displaying a rebellious outfit that would easily catch someone's attention. Her skin was contrasted by a few coats of eye makeup that was making a vivid green of her exuberant. <laughs> exuberant. Can I like shit pop up even more? Whatever. I couldn't tell her age, but it was fairly easy to guess that she wasn't entirely gone through her teenage years yet, regardless of her curvaceous body. Uh, heck if that didn't hurt. Hey, you! Who are you supposed to be? You better not be the one who brought me here without my consent. I'm totally not. My name is... Oh. And it's just like you. I was brought here against my will. Hey, Fujita Anju, that's us. Yeah. So you're not the owner of this place. Batty to the bad it is. But now that you've introduced yourself, I guess it'd be kind of rude not to do it too. I stand for the amazing name of Yonono Iroha. Mm. Yonone Iroha. But you can call me Cool Kid if you need to hint at my status. Alright, you know the little high. You know the little high. Yes, girl. Yeah, we friends now, girl. Yes. Okay, relation added. So, do you know what happened? Uh, do you happen to know where we are? Or at least know why we're here? Because this is very confusing. I really have no idea what this place is or even how I ended up here. And I don't know, but you feel a Tad and my blah blah blah. Hold on, wait. I can read that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about you, but I feel a tad am amnesia. Oh. You can't at. Oh my gosh. But I feel a tad amnesiac. I don't think that's right. And clueless since then. Like if someone had taken my brain out of my skull and turned it upside down, then put it back in its place. Didn't get wasted though. Just saying. I do feel. Mm. I do feel the same way, but I have no idea where we are, sadly. So they got. But this place is suspicious. Like those cameras and that TV screen near the silly. Oh my god! You noticed it too? Sa <laughs> sa. The guy behind the zangy staging has to be some sort of psycho fetishist perv. Spying on young girls like us? Really? She seems oddly ambivalent, despite the situation we've been muddled into. Bullied. Mm. There was also a camera and a weird TV screen in the room I woke up in. There was also that weird letter. <laughs> Speaking of that letter, I've gotten to go kick the ass of the bastard who broke this. No one calls me a blockhead. Wait, you received that same letter too? So the both of us ended up the same way, in an unfamiliar room with an invitation. How strange. So yeah, but now that I come to think of it, I wonder if all those other rooms around us, if there are people in those rooms too? That's what you were wondering, right? Wanna go check it out? Anna. I knock, you open. Works like that, well, works just like back in school. I doubt that would be necessary. If there's... If there are actual people in those rooms, they might have already come out to the head toward the meeting room. <laughs> the meeting point, excuse me. Probably. Let's go! Then should we go? You seem to be handling this. You seem to be handling this a little bit too carelessly. Don't get worked up, you wuss puss puss. What an insolent behavior. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm feeling a little odd. My prism keeps on glitching and having interferences. <laughs> it's tickling my little gray matter. How can it even make her giggle? It's pretty concerning to have a glitchy prism. Mine felt a little abnormal as well. I wonder if it could be the reason behind this feeling of forget forgetfulness. It can't be a coincidence that both our prisms are having issues at the same time. My heart is starting to pulse frantically. Hey, hey! Is it my time to shine? It is. Because it's time for a new tutorial. <laughs> As you might have noticed, this window popped up on the right side of the screen right after, you know, Yune no Yeroha introduced herself. 
It shows that your relationship command has been created and updated with the new amity card. Yuneno's amenity card is this case. Business tutorial will be rather important if you wish to get special bonuses. It's about the relationship command. Do we need to read it, guys? Or do we not? We, we're reading it. Throughout the game, you'll have the opportunity to bond with other characters. Those moments will mostly appear during the interludes. A branch that will be explained to you later on. Once you've met a new character, you will automatically obtain an amity card, which will allow you to see their affinity with them, their current status, and their location. Your affinities will be uploaded either negatively, cold, or positively, warm, depending on your interactions with the character. If you positively fulfill one of the character's gauges and affinity, you'll be rewarded with a token, which will later become exchangeable for special bonuses. Reminder, to access the Amity command, press the W button. Thanks for reading. Enjoy the game. Okay, now we're back. I like my little Mrs. Tutorial voice. <laughs> okay, are we searching? Are we looking at stuff now? I hate the side of this TV. I wonder if there's one in every room. Get out of my mind. Wait, if there are, in fact, people in those rooms... We might find some cool stuff if we slip around their belongings. Jota, jota. That would be very inappropriate, mostly in this kind of situation. Don't get too distracted, you know. Yeah, party pooper. Okay, so we have to uh, see. We're going to see if you know there's any other people in this room, basically. Um, I need to click around to get to the other. There we go. Okay, so I did notice this little hole. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, Captain, look. Huh? What, you know? The no, 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 no. hole has been sealed. Yarr. <laughs> oh, come on. That was nicely dramatic, right? Sa, sa. And that terrific look on your face was stunning. Then no one's facial features could be contorted like that. Konobaka. Quit it with your nonsense, you know. It's fine, my girl. You look so tense. I thought a little pranksy joke would finally ease your tight ass. <laughs> As if it were. <laughs> Regardless, what's with this porthole? It's been changed from the outside, and there's a padlock that keeps it firmly locked. It's so creepy. Obviously, our kidnapper didn't want us to flee to see the other side. We're freaking trapped. That's so bad. I'm nearly about to give up at this point. Hey. If my man loses her hope, then I'm really, ooh, then I'm really gonna get screwed. Whoa! Why can I not read? It's like, at a certain point, my brain is like, "Fuck it, you ain't gonna read today." Like, <laughs> my man, quiet and listen, you bag of tears. In such a in such a dire situation, we need to maintain a positive atmosphere. For that, we'll both need you to work up that strong will. But I love, oh, see. But also, and obviously, sa, sa. we'll also need my tremendous amount of brain cells to solve puzzles and lead our group through this dreadful script. Let's gather all of our qualities to get through this misadventure uh, without grief. You're a funny one, aren't you? Well, you need to go left when you notice that you don't... That I don't truly have any brain cells to help you with. <laughs> okay. Let's go look in the other room. Oh, but there's a room over here, right? Okay, let's check this one. Ooh, you're gonna be a funny fella to be around, aren't you? Oh, can we not go in there? Okay, 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 okay. That's the room I woke up in. That room has a pretty cool look, but I still feel uneasy inside. Well, waking up in an unknown room with a weird letter and a spying camera, I can only understand your disquiet. Hmm. I guess. Wanna visit it though? So they got I doubt we got time for that. Yeah. The difficult ain't nobody got time for that, right? Uh, intercom. An intercom? Anna. What? Have you seen an intercom? Oh, no. That's not it, obviously. But I need to check out something. 
Oh my god! What's with all the thinking? Just something odd. You see, each room around here seems to be integrated with an intercom. Anna! Thanks, Captain Obvious. Wouldn't have worked it out on my own. Huh? Will you quit cutting me? Uh, hi! Yeah, Captain. Well, the thing is, when I tried to open the door of the room I woke up in, I was unable to unlock it. It means the door needs to be opened from the inside, but if you wish to open it from the outside, you'll need a password. I think that it must explain why there is a keypad. Then how are we supposed to know what's the password? Maybe are we not supposed to go back in? Well, that sure was helpful then. Don't be a pain. I'm trying... I am trying, at least. <laughs> it's not like she's even trying to look around for clues or anything. <laughs> anyway, are you done been going around yet? Are we going now? Nah. We got stuff to do, like meeting the bastard who's been playing with our nerves, you know? <sighs> yeah, I guess. Wow. Although I'm not willing to go through all the going. Although I'm not willing to go through with all of this. Jesus Christ. But let's not waste time anymore. I have better things to do out there. Hi, hi, nah. Like what? A job? School? A boy to take care of? Or maybe a cat to feed? Or a cat to play with? Or a cat to cuddle snuggle? It's really not the right time to talk about such things. Anna. Don't want to talk about cats, huh? Well, Simone, you're soon to be off my list of interests, you know? Let's go! But you're right. Let's go already. Nah, Fujita san. Hey, Fujita. There's a guy. Oh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Hello there. As we were following the di directives of the map, Yuneno and I finally decided to head towards the meeting place which we had been invited to. However, as we were about to reach two doors that were presumed to be the entrance of the designated room, Yuneno nearly knocked into someone again. A man this time. That man was rather tall compared to us, but his intimidating presence was balanced by his gaze, which seemed to be mildly smiling at us. His moments, his movements were rather gentle, agile, and his behavior seemed oddly nonchalant. He looked like nothing could get him flustered. The only thing that seemed agitated about him was his disheveled wavy hair. Mm, that is cool. I, I don't know French, so I don't even know what to say. But you know, that one is honkalicious, okay? He surely gives some damn fine babies. <laughs> oh my god. Girl. How inappropriate was that? Girl, call the fuck down. <laughs> Shoot. I'd rather not. Right. You don't even know you. You talking about. Girl. Alright. Having kids is like buying an overpriced pair of shoes. At first you're happy, but then you quickly realize what a poor decision you've made. <laughs> but that's just my boorish opinion, after all. Oh, oh my, a gentleman with humor he is. He's so chill, I love it. Flattering reminds coming from such a lovely lady can only give me a considerable amount of pleasure. <laughs> I'd gladly give you another kind of ple- huh? Excuse me, but can we get back on track? <laughs> this girl! Ah! Oh, she's not nasty! What are you even doing, you know? This is no time for you unbecoming flirty. <laughs> I'm sorry, Vegeta. Just get it by God, be carried away. By the way, hon. Hi, hi, Nana. Let me introduce you to my newly acquainted poodle looking friend, Vegeta Anju. Huh? Put. And let's not forget about my split itself. You know it all has name. Yes. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. But please excuse my manners. Not to introduce myself in the first place, I swear. My name is Hanbei Ibuki. Ibuki. Oh. Yes, yes, but I wouldn't mind if we, if you were to forget it. Oh. <laughs> uh, this is my name, but you know you can forget it. I don't care. Like. <laughs> so, what are two girls? Like you even doing in a strange place. Is this your property? Have I gotten drunk and intruded your house? That'd be unusual. I feel like I've been swallowed into an overwhelming oblivion before getting spat out of it. <laughs> Same here. That's what I also thought earlier. So they got Well, you know, you know, and I have found ourselves trapped in this unfamiliar place. Clueless how or even why. Oh, I read that wrong. That's her. 
I'm looking at him, but I'm hurt. <clears throat> well, Yoneno and I have found ourselves trapped into some familiar place, clueless how or even why. Well now, that sounds rather concerning. Of course it's concerning. Someone has abducted us, locked us down in a weird building, and has, us, and has been spied on us ever since. And from what we saw earlier, it doesn't seem like they're planning to free us at any time soon. Well, from what you just said, I can easily conclude that you noticed the chain portholes too, haven't you? Hi. Yes, indeed. Did you as well? Of course. Boca. When I left the bedroom in which I had woken up in, I found myself in a corridor with several other doors as well as the padlocked porthole. I couldn't feel at ease at the sight of this preposterous scene. But I was even more shocked to notice that I couldn't go back into my room as it seemed to be as it seemed to require the password to be open from the outside. So the show call. It really seems to be repeated occurrences. Yeah. Wait a minute, kitty. Did you just say there was another bunch of doors over there? That means there has to be so many more people. According to what I saw and what you said, mm. it seems like the hall we're currently in leads to three other corridors. The longest one over there seems to include three rooms we haven't inspected yet. And finally, the two other symmetrical corridors which oppose to each other respectively includes five bedrooms from which we came from. So, it would be fair for me to believe that there are seven other people besides ourselves. But obviously, my thoughts are only valid if those rooms are indeed meant to host some other people. Aww. And don't you think we should just go somewhere else? Maybe they've already left. You already know we cannot. We have an appointment to attend. Wait, you know about that meeting too? <laughs> <laughs> that was purely an assumption. I wasn't sure if you had already received this puzzling invitation or not. I was just anticipating your reaction. Hi. But yes, Hi. I'm aware of that meeting scheduled by our mysterious host. I must admit, but you have pretty sharp. You have a pretty sharp insight. Meh, <laughs> Ibuki san. But do you really think we should go and not try to run away or have a peek around instead? I would advise you not to do so. For all we know, a wrong step in this place could get us into a dire position. <laughs> you know. There could be bombs and murderers lurking everywhere around here. Uh -huh. Aha! A creepy phrase, a creepy expression, all of that. Oh, with a cute face. A spooky hand, but he's cute! It's a spook situation. It's a spook. Sp cute. <laughs> His attitude is so eccentric. How can he even remain so composed and punkish even after the dis disturbing circumstances? Just wait. You most certainly look uptight, Vegeta. Simply for such a playful chest. <sighs> it's Aww. not just that. I feel so uncomfortable right now that I've lost the ability to invoke any sort of optimism. Fujita san. That's quite understandable. And I gladly give you a moral support, but people tend to define my morals as questionable. Besides, we should get going already. We might be a little late for the. <laughs> Heck if I want those damn explanations. I'm definitely not prepared for this, but I cannot back down. Things are about to be get clearer, for I hope to gain some answers at long last. Right after saying those words in my head, I couldn't, <clears throat> I couldn't help but to feel more distressed. After all, I was a mundane girl with a placid lifestyle that would always follow a straight line and avoid any sort of agitation. And with ever how much monotonous this may sound to others, I liked it that way. I like things to be nice and easy to plan out, so of course I was not able to properly confront such an intricate situation. I was overwhelmed. But my determination was prevailing. I was sorely against giving up so easily, and so I was the first one to walk towards the two doors and to grab the handles, ready to face the truth and get it over with. But oddly enough, I was desperately convinced that the further we go that we were going, the deeper we were drowning in a lake of disquiet and disarray. I was desperately convinced that more unpleasant surprises were awaiting us. Alright, so we are going to save! We are going to save right here. And if you guys want to see more of it, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. 
uh, follow me on Twitter, follow me on TikTok, really on TikTok because that's how you're gonna, you know, get most of my updates because I mostly post on there first before I post on my Twitter and on my Instagram. The links will be in the description, all except for my TikTok, which I'm finna give y'all right now. Uh, it should be the same. Hold on. Yeah, it's the same as my uh, as my Instagram. So I'm gonna type it on there. I'm gonna put it on the screen. It's going to be at underscore just dot drea underscore. That's me on Twitter. Okay. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. I guess if it you know if y'all do what I say. <laughs> so let me go ahead and save. And I will see y'all.